Yo guys, what's up? So, a little elf told me that apparently TikTok is dying and that I should continue my YouTube grind and I said, okay, and um, that's what I'm doing. I'm continuing the grind on YouTube and um, here's the deal, okay? I'm okay at making 15 second TikToks, but when it comes to having ideas for 10 minute long YouTube videos, now that's where I get a little stuck. Yeah, so I, I didn't know what to make, I don't know what to make for these videos. Um, so I was thinking, I was like, if I'm not Kevin, what would I want to know about Kevin? And I realized I would want to know absolutely nothing. So that didn't help. And then I asked my friend and I said, hey, what should I do a YouTube video about? And he said I should do a video about being famous in high school. So I was like, yeah, all right, let me do one of these Tana Mojo, whatever her name is, YouTube video story times where I clearly lie, just kidding, not gonna lie, but I tell the story about what it's like to be famous in high school. So easy enough, I think I'm gonna do that. Also, I don't even know where to start because no script, just complete improv here. So let me just, let me just, bring you to the beginning of Kevin's TikTok journey. So, first TikTok, October 23rd or something like that. I made it. Nothing special. Uh, woke up in the morning. Apparently it was special because it had like 100 likes and I was like, <sighs> and I thought that was cool and I was like, all right, let me just keep doing it. Wait, hold on. I already messed up the story. I started TikTok because Ryan Trahan told me to and he challenged me to get famous in one day and it didn't really work, but eventually I guess I got famous, so technically it did work. Anyways, I was like, cool, I'm gonna keep doing this. So I made another one and another one. Those didn't do very well, they were embarrassing, I deleted them. Then I made this one where I had a sign and I was like, yo fam, if I land this water bottle flip on my head, you have to be my girlfriend. And then I faked it and made it look like it landed on my head. And then I woke up that morning and I had 100,000 views and I was like, what? The f and it was the coolest feeling ever because I was like, I went viral, holy. I only had like 2,000 followers. I was like, damn, I am a legend. I am a TikTok god. I am better than everyone. So, <laughs> of course, I kept doing it. And then nothing else exploded for a couple of days. I just made like some like random ones. At first, like I wasn't really telling my friends. I told my best friend Ethan and my best friend Adam, but I really didn't like, I wasn't like, hey guys, look at this video. I'm famous, suck my toes. Didn't ever do that. And then like, I guess, once I hit 10K, that's when people were like, wow, you got a following boy, you're popping off. And I was like, 10K? That's a frick ton of people. Yeah, so I guess like 10K happened and that's when like people started to notice me at my school, like my friends. They're like, yo, Kevin, this is pretty cool. Like, that's like, that's, that's a good number of people. I was like, yeah, that is pretty insane. Like, I don't know, like, should I keep doing it? Should I delete it or not? No one was really harassing me yet or bullying me yet, not bullying, but, you know, so I was like, all right, I'll keep doing it. Um, so I kept doing it, and then, uh, all right, this was like maybe like mid-November. Uh-oh, Kevin's in the school newspaper for TikTok, yeet. But it's basically like a picture of me, and then TikTok, and then like information. And I was like, uh-oh, that was when I had like 40,000, so I wasn't that big, you know? And, um, right, so that, then like, I was like, at my school, everyone's like talking about me, and it was really weird. Now any interaction I had with someone, it was, TikTok based, so every conversation was TikTok, 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 and I really did not like that. And it didn't stop; it only got worse. So let's let's uh, ramp forward to about 100k. So I'm like, I'm actually like not like big, but I'm like you know 100k. That's a pretty large n amount of people. I mean, I still don't understand how I have 100k. My friends don't understand, and yeah. So um, this is when I first got recognized in public. Okay, so. I'm at McDonald's, if you don't know, I work at McDonald's, and um, I'm like taking an order of this family, right? And it's this, these two moms, I don't know if they're like, they're like best friends, something like that. Can I speed on this? Who knows? Probably not. I'm gonna bleep it out. I'm taking the order and I notice the like teenage girl in the back, she has her phone and she's doing one of those like, pretend this is a phone, it's a, it's a camera battery charger. She's doing one of those like, I'm not recording you, no. <laughs> You know, and you can see, you can tell, oh, she's recording me, but I I couldn't really tell because I was trying to look at the screen and take the order. Kind of shot out of my peripheral vision. If that, yeah, that's how you say it. Probably not, I don't care. Yeah, so uh, I was like, uh, uh-oh. And I didn't really think much of it because I'm like, nah, I only have 100,000, it's not that many people. So, uh, and then like I took their order, I was like, all right, that's gonna be $60 or whatever. I don't know how much McDonald's is. Um, then I got the food ready, made it up, and then I was like, all right, time to take the food to the customer. And they were kind of sitting in the back. So I had to approach them from the back, 
Okay, that sounds a little weird. I had to approach approach them from the opposite of the front, and um, I overlooked one of the, the teenage girl's shoulder, and uh, she had her phone like this, and oh wow, guess what's on the phone? Uh, Kevboy Perry's TikTok profile, and I was like, all right, yikes, gotta go, and I kind of like was I was I'm so shy, so I was like, all right, let me just go this way now and find some reason to not be in this situation. But before I could turn around completely, one of the moms goes. Hey, I have a question for you. And I was like, oh, hi, are you Order 76? Here you go. She's like, my daughter wants to ask you something. And she points to the daughter on the phone with the Kev boy. And she's like, is this you? And I was like, yes. And then I left and it was so awkward because I didn't say anything else. And like, I, I, don't, I didn't know what to do. And I was like, uh, uh. Uh, you know that episode of Spongebob where they're just like burning and he's they're in Spongebob's head and they're just burning all the papers That was my head, but Not Spongebob. It was me. So that was my first experience, which I mean I totally was shy a shy baby That was that okay um, So the next big thing that happened was at my winter formal dance at the Richard Nixon library <sighs> So I'm like this is probably when I was at 200,000. I was just chilling. No, I'm not chilling. I'm like at the dance. So I'm like dancing with my friends, right? And so I'm like, oh god, I'm kind of hot. I need to get some water. So I go with my friend Ethan, and we're like, oh, sick water. I'm out here with e my friend Ethan, and then there's like this group of girls, right? And I'm not like staring at them, but like, I kind of saw that they were looking at me, and I was like, uh. I was kind of nervous that it was gonna be like what happened at McDonald's. So I was like, okay, Kevin, don't be a bitch. Let's get through this. You're not, they're not gonna hurt you. They're just freshmen. You're a senior. You can do this. And I was like, ah, okay, whatever. So they were doing the thing of the, and I was like, okay, so clearly I was like, all right, let me just accept the fate. Like they know, they know who I am. And then like, um, a different girl comes up actually. She's like, oh, you you do the TikToks. I actually find them funny. And I was like, oh, 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 thanks. That, that wasn't too bad. So then she left, whatever, and then those girls came up, and then I was like, uh, Kevin, you're tough, strong, let's do this, okay? Face your fears, and then I was like, just kidding, and then I ran back into the dance. <laughs> and I was like, uh, uh, so I found my friends, and I was like, okay, whew, that was a close one, Kevin, you're being a bitch, but it's okay, because social anxiety, yeet. That happened, and I was like, okay, that's fine, whatever, cool. Done with that, don't have to worry. And I was a little bit paranoid for the rest of the dance, because I was like, okay, where are they? But, um, well, guess what? About like 10 minutes later, I bump into this girl, and then I look behind me, and then it's those girls. So basically, they asked me to take a picture in the middle of the dance. Like, in the, not in the mosh pit, but like, in the group of people. And I was like, okay. I'm like, of course I'm not gonna say no, because I'm not mean. Well, okay, I didn't say no. Took a picture. Easy as that, like, flash went off. Fine, whatever. Like, apparently my principal saw so she came up to me, she's like, why did those girls just take pictures with you? So then I had to explain to my principal what TikTok is and how I was famous on the app. And that's an awkward story for another video. 20 minutes later, they come back up, they're like, hey, we didn't actually get a picture. It didn't work, it broke. And I was like, oh, okay. So I did it again, and then it was really awkward again, but whatever. Done with that. The bullet. I just realized you can see me back here. So, that's, that's like the high school part, you know, I'm just like at my high school dance and people are asking to take pictures of me, like, I don't know, it was kind of concerning. The next thing that happened was, um, so I'm at Universal Studios, this was like last weekend, no, this weekend, this Friday, what am I talking about? And I'm just like, alright, well my friend Simmer, I'm like, yeah, sick, this is a good day, good day. And we're like, at Universal Studios, they have like a locker system before you get on the ride. So you can put your stuff in there so your ride doesn't, so your stuff just doesn't go yeet while you're on the ride. And um, we're just, I'm just like, you know, just putting my stuff in a locker. And I walk in and then like, I like turn this corner and this girl's like, and she looks at me, makes a direct eye contact with me, like, like expression on her face. And then I was like, oh, and then she looks away and I was like, oh, oh, whew. that was a close one. And that was like a little bit, I got a little, the uh, little adrenaline rush, you know, like that quick, like, like when you don't know where your phone is in your pocket, like, like, 
And I was like, oh, okay, that was close, right? So I'm with my friend again. We're like getting the locker open, right? Put stuff in, turn around, and those girls are just all start. It's like five girls, so like, hi. <laughs> and then she's like, oh my God. And she started freaking out. She's like, oh my God, oh my God. And then she's like, Kev, Kev Koi Perry, or she like totally but butchered my username, but it was kind of funny. She's like, oh my God, oh my God, guys, it's that TikTok dude. I was like, and she's like, oh my God, can I get a picture? And I was like, yeah, sure. And all of her friends were kind of like unamused. They're like, TikTok, what, what, this, what is TikTok? And um, then she's like, oh my God, guys. And then she like took a picture and like, I put my arm around her and she like freaking like Thor gripped my ribs. And I thought like I broke a rib cause she grabbed me so hard. I was like, damn. Those are all the stories. Maybe I should, next time I do a story time, I should lie to make it more interesting so you guys can enjoy it. But maybe I'll tell you when it's a lie. Uh, so yeah, that's being famous in high school. Let me just rate this. It's a good six out of 10 because you get a lot of hate from people at your school. That's all they talk about, TikTok being famous. But then again, it's also fun and cool. So, you know, like it's, that's how it is, you know? Um, it's not like, I'm not getting bullied or anything. It's just like, like people talk crap on me and I'm like, <laughs> jealousy, yeah. But yeah, so guys, that was my video for today. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video.